Okay, today is the 11th of the May. The last frost finished just in the morning today. And so we don't have any frost anymore. That was grass frost. So the strawberries will be safe though. I don't need to cover them. This is a strawberry bed that I created in just one day. I mean, about one, two hours it took from starting to finish. And uh, I put pots, long pots, uh, along the edge and then what I did, uh, filled it with compost and planted some strawberries. Uh, the strawberries I planted is Beltran and uh, Cambridge Favorite, as you can see. This Cambridge Favorite I bought it from the Wilkinson ATP. Beltran, uh, I found it in the Wilkinson. That was for one pound each plant. And uh, you see the difference. Beltran has bigger leaves compared and is a little bit more squat but more robust. I don't know if it's because that, uh, these were in the shop, these were outside in the outdoors in the supermarket and you will listen. So, uh, I have now six beds here in total. And these six beds have uh, three on this green olive colored pots which are from Wilkinson, two pound each. So that is nine, and I have uh, four in each one of these pound rolled ones. So that is 12. Nine, 12, that is 21 strawberry plants. If each strawberry plant gives me about 200 grams, which is the minimum amount you expect, usually they give a pound, 500 grams, sometimes more. So if each plant gives me about 200 grams, that means about four kilos of strawberries I can harvest from here. And uh, compare it with these ones which are in the ground. And these ones also which are about as a plant this year. They are easier to pick. They are about one meter higher than the ground level. So I can just step in and the strawberry is here. Can pick it easy. I planted them, those ones right now, those three olive green pots, and uh, now I'm going now to water them. I'm watering them thoroughly just to get sure they have enough water. This is the second part. This is the third part that I did today. I'm soaking them in completely water just to make sure they have enough. What I've done here also I put a, a foam sponge at the bottom of the pot. Just to help it to keep the moisture and as I'm watering the level of the compost is a little bit sinking so I will add some compost this is exceptionally beautiful scene I just stopped watering the strawberries just to look at this beautiful sunset. Mm. 
is gradually dwindling, the light is fading, clouds are moving and blocking the light. That's one of the beauties of uh, being outdoors in allotment, because the allotment is the outdoor place. When you are in outdoor places, you can see a lot of natural phenomenon in the sky, in the earth. You see animals, you see birds, uh, all kind of creatures. You cannot, you know, put a value on this, money-wise. Looks like a painting, it's so beautiful. Now the light is fading, the clouds are covering the sun. And that's it, it's done. beam of light is coming in another direction but that's that's also the finish is it beautiful yeah I think it's beautiful look at the color in the sky the, the clouds it's almost greenish blue green blue green gray anyway uh, I put several of these bars two two there two another there i connected them with this uh, metal bar i had from ski park <laughs> i think and then i had these bars i don't know where i got them but uh, it was here for a long time and uh, then uh, to support the weight of the uh, uh, these pots with the compost in them and the plants i uh, used wires three wires for these large ones and two of these smaller for smaller pots and generally they are supported by these two bars also which actually extend to both sides of it so they're relying on this at the same time the this uh, wires give them enough support Hopefully. So that's it, that's the strawberry bed ready. Tonight we will have a rain hopefully and uh, in the morning we come and just uh, look at everything. Three sister system is now waiting to be done because I have now the, all the plants ready so I just put them in. Today is the 6th of September and I want to show you some delights. There's beautiful strawberries everywhere. This is a continuity collection which uh, I got this year from the DT Brown I think. Also, these are our own oldest strawberries that we have. And the ones that we planted this year in the height, the experiment goes well. This is a Beltran, this kind of uh, drought hardy strawberry, as you see here. 6th of September, and we have a strawberry yet. Last night we had a storm. And it's really cold now for the last month of the summer. But yet we have strawberry and I'm going to harvest them now. Okay, not bad for this time of the year.
beautiful large strawberry this is the continuity collection I think I bought it from the DT Brown it's really nice and it's now September 6 and we have a strawberry no picking strawberries is it from this race that I built yes. yeah can I see just mm. oh, beautiful. They come quite late when the others are finished. This uh, variety is coming. I wonder what's the name of the variety. I really don't know. Can Look, I see that one? This one looks like a Siamese twin. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, go. There are some here, but I think because they've got a bit dry, they just need to look for Yeah, to but these ones have more flower. They are, they are going to give us yeah, some yeah. more. And there is one here, several. Oh, oh I see another. These ones are babies. These ones, look, it's not quite right. Yeah, don't take the unripe ones. In a few days they will be ready. Yeah. I'm going to get them. Where was the red berry? So, you are harvesting the strawberries. Oh, I just found Oh, that's beautiful. From the hanging ones. Oh. Yeah. That is beautiful. Big, one. Oh. big three lop ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Been through there is that side. Oh, there are two, two several red ones. Tell me. Taste one. Yuck, yuck. Mm. Mm. Oh, I cannot believe it's so sweet. I want the sweetest ever. I have to cut this. Oh. Bind with. Today is Tuesday, 10th of October. I don't expect that uh, this time you have to have any strawberries. But uh, here, here you are. Strawberry. And flower, of course, actually. Yeah. I'm collecting them. As long as it gives, I will collect them. This is the strawberry Beltran. And this big one, I think, is Cambridge or something like that. We will see. Anyway, how many we have here? Another one here, which is already cut, so get it. <laughs> yeah, a few strawberries here, a few strawberries there. This one is completely rotten, so let's pass this rest. Okay, this one I will get it anyway. And this one also. Mm -hmm. Just this few. A few here. I remove the weeds. It is a good time actually when I'm harvesting also I remove the weeds. And I will look also to see if there is more. Hmm, nothing here. Oh, one is here which the... This, the slugs are eating, so I throw it in the bin. Compost. Okay, continuity strawberries. They're giving Get some fruit. Hmm, very strange. They have not been touched by the sun. Oh, a few here. Uh, 
Aviv. Today is the 18th of the October and it's very misty. It was raining and now it is mist. But in yet in this misty weather, strawberries are going down. Delivering as they do. As I told, this is the strawberry variety belt one, and it has given good crop. As you see, also it has flower. And this is the continuity collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damaged by the slugs. And again, this is a belt run. And again, belt run. The strawberries uh, on the elevated beds, raised beds on the height, one meter high, was so good last year, so successful, that I decided actually to do more of this. And uh, so I removed some of the raised beds that I had here for a strawberry, and I'm putting them on now here. What I've done instead of the pins, as you see here, I've used the uh, uh, stand. And on the stand, I can put three bars for two rows. If I want, I can extend it to another row here. And for this purpose, I use this uh, um, beds, uh, these pots, which actually have a reservoir of water under them. So it's a big problem that they go dry when you are having at the height, the water drains down completely. So this has a reservoir of water under it, so it keeps the of the water here so they will not be as dry and it's a good idea I'm going to do it for all these uh, strawberries that I'm going to plant here and as you see these ones last year I planted them Beltran and the uh, Iris and they have done really well and we had it up to I think November we had a strawberry here this uh, elevated be uh, beds of the strawberry was so successful last year but I've decided to do more two two more rows, and uh, I use this time instead of the just relying on a one of these pins. Okay, this is our elevated strawberry bed, and we created it by six raised beds which were on the ground originally, and put them all the plants in the pots, and uh, yeah. We have now how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two raised beds, elevated beds. And we have first a strawberry here ready. Almost ready. Almost here. It's not ready. Uh, I hope that Susa will not shaft it, but you can do it before the birds shaft it, actually. Come on. What I like about this uh, elevated beds is that when you are here, uh, you can access four successive rows 
Then you come here, there's a little bay here, it's like an organ, church organ. And you're surrounded by your strawberries. And then you can harvest this side in front and to the right. So it's really well designed, I must say. And uh, yeah, quite strong also. The only thing I have to do is now cover them so the birds will not have access to them. I will use a green net for that. Okay, this is now our strawberry bed which I have covered. So hoping that this will protect the bird, uh, fruits from the bird. What I will do, I find some strings and uh, with some rocks to hold them down instead of attaching something to them just by the weight of the string and the stone hold them back hold the net down on the plants eventually I will put a hoop or hook some circular wire or hose over top of them until then that's just be a temporary measure Okay, John, I see that you have uh, made a raised bed for, I mean, completely uh, gardens of, hanging gardens of Babylonia here. It's your strawberries here, I see. And you cover them like that to stop the birds. Oh, very ingenious. Instead of uh, nailing them, you use a little stone to weigh it down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's clever. It that's Jean. I find stones with holes in, I grab them. Yeah. John laughs at me, but I grab them. That's beautiful. And it's much easier, you don't need to bend, you know, this bending that is well, killer in the lot. I got John weeding them because I said, taking the dead leaves off, because I said, there's a job you can do, Stan. Oh, I that. see one of these things that you told, that the Sleeping oh, no, Beauty. Oh, yes, there are weeds in it. Okay, I can yeah, remove it. There's dandelions and things get in it, and that's terrible. Yeah. That's lovely. I see even you don't bother even to put it out of pot because that practically works. <laughs> oh, that was a it was, cutting. It was a runner. Yeah, runner. There wasn't, there wasn't a hole for I it. I see the nail there. Yeah, there wasn't a hole. Free plant. Put some in here. <laughs> yeah, some of these, I think. It's those, beautiful. I think a couple of these up this end were runners from here. Those, I think those two or three here were runners from oh, here. Oh, that's lovely. It's so inspiring looking at your garden. <laughs> behind this year that's the trouble uh, catch up it will catch up don't, I don't worry know where to go first i sort of come over here and i start doing something i'm not supposed to be doing that exactly the same for everyone <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely